Derek Kowalczyk, Chief Investment Strategist at CFC Seymour. He joins us live from our Hong Kong bureau. Derek, uh, no surprise, of course, that China is interested in gaining control of more resources, but would a move into BHP make strategic and economic sense right now? I think it definitely would, and there are th several reasons for it. Uh, first of all, China is obviously short commodities, and uh, having a stake in more commodity pr producers would be sort of a hedge against this short position. It would give them um, uh, long to counter it, and uh, any upside in commodity prices that they would have to pay if prices increase would be sort of reduced uh, by sharing in higher earnings by commodity producers. So this is uh, an important factor. A stake would also uh, allow China to have a higher chance of blocking the BHP Rio Tinto merger, which is negative for the country because it would probably give the producer a higher, a stronger bargaining position in, in price negotiations. And finally, gaining a stake would uh, allow China to ease pressure on its balance of payments because there will be some outflow of hard currency from the country. Mm. And uh, Darius, presumably there would be some political ramifications from this as well, not only of course from the Chinese, but from uh, the Australians. Exactly. Uh, especially in Australia, uh, as is the case in many other developed countries, there is a lot of opposition against um, uh, investments from government-controlled entities and uh, any Chinese uh, company such as uh, the rumored Bao Steel um, is controlled by the Chinese government in effect. So there is uh, a lot of tensions in Australia whether or not uh, this should be allowed and the visit of Prime Minister Rudd in Beijing uh, right now will definitely be full of talks about access of Chinese capital to the Australian market. Derek, what does this say or mean overall for the BHP bid or offer to buy Rio Tinto? Does this make it more difficult or less, uh, more likely that we could see that deal actually go through? I think it's going to be more difficult for BHP to uh, clinch the transaction with Rio Tinto because it's very clear that China would vote against such a merger just because they don't want to have a very powerful counterparty that would negotiate prices of commodities shipped to China. So if the Chinese uh, have a large stake so far combined with Alcoa 9% in Rio Tinto and presumably they would have an even bigger stake in BHP, they would be able to vote, vote against the transaction and this clearly lowers the probability of it happening and I think that uh, regardless of uh, the opposition from, from Rio, the current turbulence in, in, glo in the global economy and potential difficulty in securing financing uh, makes me think that BHP will actually not succeed. Uh, Darius, quick word on the broader Chinese markets, if you will. Of course, concerns about overhangs from lock-ins and IPOs affecting the performance. What about the earnings picture as well, though? I believe that earnings for last year will probably be very strong again and likely exceed expectations. Uh, what we have seen over the past few days was really very strong uh, with earnings gains of between 25% and over 100% on the previous year, uh, with companies benefiting from the fact that the economy was still very strong last year, uh, the tightening measures are only showing up this year, uh, and the financials uh, still uh, taking advantage of the rally in the stock market last year. So I think that the earnings will bring positive surprises and will allow the rebound in the Chinese stock market to continue for some time. Derek, as always, a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. Derek Kowalczyk, Chief Investment Strategist at CFC Seymour. Now, another corporate news from Asia.